hi guys welcome back to another interesting tutorial this is Agilamp here thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos if you're new here you're welcome please subscribe and don't forget to turn on the bell icon so that you get to know anytime I post new videos so for today we are going to be making this trendy and stunning party dress for a baby girl so if you're interested let's get started all right here with me i have my fabric and for this i'll be using this um, polo fabric now for you to make this dress you you need a fabric that is a little thick okay you don't need any soft fabric for this so you need something that is a little thick it can be a polo it can be a scuba it can be a thick cotton fabric all right so i'll be using this and i have just one yard of this polo fabric here and this is one year so i'll just use a six month old measurement just for this tutorial all right so i'll just use a six month old so that this one year will be enough for me to use so now we're going to start by drafting out a simple a line pattern from there we are going to create how we want the pleated area to be so here I have my pattern already folded. I'm going to quickly run this part because I already have a video on how to draft um, an A-line pattern, okay? So now the first thing to do is to mark out the length of the dress. All right, so for this, I'll be making the length that is from the shoulder to the knee area. I'll be making it 18 inches now for this dress you don't need it to be too long it should either be like an inch before the knee or exactly on the knee you don't need you don't um, you're not supposed to make it very long if you make it very long um it will not look mm. nice so I'll just go ahead and mark out 18 inches after that i'll just connect all right here as you can see i just connected that point so here i have the length of the dress now if you want to make this dress for a six month old i will not advise that you use this very thick kind of fabric make sure you get something that um, will not be a kind of stress to the baby just get a lighter version of your um, polo fabric and use for a six month old so i'm just using this just for this tutorial okay so the next thing to do now i am going to mark out the armhole line which is 4.5 okay so i have a detailed video on how to um, go about drafting a basic body so you can check that out to know how to do that so i'll just connect i am using 4.5 because i want the armhole area to be a little free you don't need to make it too tight Okay, so the next thing now is to mark out the shoulder measurement. So for this, it is 8. Half of that is 4. So I'll just go ahead and mark out 4 inches. And then I'll come down by 0 0.75 shoulder slope. Then for the neck width, I'll make use of 1.75. And then for the neck depth, I'll make it 2 inches. Okay. So I'll just quickly connect and then I'm going to bring down the shoulder measurement down to this um, ample line. So this is 4 inches. So I'll quickly bring it down. So for this one, you just need the armhole or the chest line. You don't need the waist measurement. Just the um, chest measurement is what we're going to use. Alright, so here I'll just get the midpoint and then go in by half an inch this is the midpoint i'll just go in by half an inch and then we connect it's as easy and simple as that so after connecting now i'll just mark out the chest measurement okay from here we are going to be using the slash and spread method to finish up this dress now for the chest measurement it is 20 divided by 4 it is 5 because my paper um, is on fold so i'll just add one inch for this ease and sewing allowance so this is the point okay so i'm going to take this down now everything here is six inches i'm going to mark it down on this hemline 
okay so this is six inches and then i will just add extra three inches to that just to form the a line here you can also make it two but i'll use three because we're going to slash in this now to finish up the dress then i'm going to connect it straight to that point okay so on this point i'll just go up by half an inch just to remove this sharp edge here you can also use quarter an inch and then i'll just connect it to meet up the line now this is what i i have the a-line pattern is ready okay so if you want to uh, for the back side all you need to do is to add your zipper um, allowance and then place this on it and you have the back pattern so i'm going to cut this out now so we can now get to the work proper by slashing this pleating it and then um, attaching the band so let me just quickly cut this out so we can continue all right after cutting it out this is what i have here i have my a-line pattern ready so if you want to cut the back part it is very easy you just fold and then place on the paper then you just leave your one inch zipper allowance and then place this on it and just trace it out so we're going to alter this now to achieve what we want to do so i'm going to start from this neckline now from this neckline you see that it is very small because this is for a very um, a little baby so all i'm going to do now is from this center line let me connect the center line so that you can see it very well okay so this is the center line okay from this center line now i am going to mark quarter and inch you can also use half an inch but i'm using quarter because the neck size is very small okay so this is the quarter and inch here and i'll also mark the same quarter and inch on this other side so the first slashing that i'm going to make remember i said we're going to use the slash and spread method to get this part so this first slashing is going to be from this quarter and inch i don't want it to be on this center line okay now the next thing to you is uh, the next thing for you to do is to decide how many um how many places do you want to slash the neckline so for this neckline i'll make each side to be three this other side three so now i have one already which is this quarter inch that i mark so i'm going to go ahead and mark for the rest of them i'll make it half an inch so i'm marking half an inch from this quarter inch from this first marking you mark half and then i will mark another half now i have three points on this side okay so I'll repeat the same on this other side to get the three points as well okay so if you're making for an older um older kid you can use one inch because for older kids the neck size is very wide so you need uh, one inch or even one and quarter especially if you're making from 10 years up you will need like one to one and quarter because those ones the neck size it's very wide okay so i have my three points on the neckline so i'll just go over to the hemline now which is here okay so I'll also mark quarter an inch or on this side you can also make it one inch uh, sorry half an inch so let me just use half an inch you will repeat the same on the other side as well okay so now i have half an inch separate so i'm going to check what i have from this end to this half an inch that i marked here it is eight and quarter so i'm going to divide this eight and quarter into three you know we have three points this on this neckline for this side three points um, on this other side so whatever you have here you need to divide into three and mark so that you now extend the points from this neckline to wherever you mark on this hem line so i'm going to fold my tape this way to get the three um points that is just divide what you have there 
by three and then you mark okay so this is where the first line will come this is the first one this is the second one and this is the third one okay so now I'm going to connect the first one which is here to this first one on this hem line this is where the first slashing is going to come in now I'll follow the second one and place it that way so that you have your three lines this is very easy just follow what I'm doing and you will get it right okay so now we are going to be slashing these three lines one two three we're going to slash it and then spread it open on another paper so i'm going to repeat this on this other side then i'm going to place this on a fresh paper so we can now spread it out all right here it is after cutting it out you can see i just follow the line and slash them open and after doing that make sure that you number them so that you don't make any mistake by misplacing taking the one that is meant for this side to this other side so this is what i have i just slash or open now the next thing for you to do is to decide how wide or small you want the plate to be now this is the neckline we're going to start with this neckline side now i have my plain paper here as you can see so this is it i'm going to start with this one on this edge okay so i'll just start i'll use my uh, paper solo tip and secure this first one okay so after doing that i'll be making the distance for this neck part each of these this distance is going to be one inch you can also decide to make it more or even smaller it's still okay this part is where we'll be sewing the plate only on the neck side while this hem part is going to um just stay that the same way okay so now this is the first one after using uh my cello tape to tape it down so i'm going to take the second one as you can see i number this this is the second one number two now i said i want the distance for this neck part i want the distance from each of the line to be one inch so this is one inch i'll just pin um use my tape to hold it down there now when you're doing this part make sure to maintain that the shape of your neckline all right so if you're a beginner i will advise that you can even leave um the neckline first don't cut it out first when you finish with this you can now cut out your neckline okay but if you do if you cut out your neckline just make sure that you follow that shape of your neckline all right so that you don't end up having it too low so this is one inch here I'm going to use this to pin it uh, to hold it down okay now to this hemline you decide how wide you decide how wide you want this hem part to be so for me I just want to, I just want it to be just two inches or say 2.5 inches okay I don't want it too wide if you want yours too wide go ahead and do that so I'll just tape it down to so the distance of each of my uh, of this is two and half inch for the hem part while the next side is just one inch so i'm going to continue that way this part i'll make it one on this hem part um 2.5 so i'll just continue following it that way and then tape it all down so let me just quickly do all so we can continue all right this is it after spreading it out and i just cut that off now you can see that on this neckline i did not um, follow exactly the neck i just um cut like quarter an inch above what i have here already okay so after um sewing the pleat i can now um cut out the neckline the way i want it to be so this is the shape i have i'm going to remove this now okay but before that make sure to note the part that you'll be putting the plates now the plate is just going to be here here and here and then here here and here just that okay so i'll just remove this now and then place this on my fabric and cut for the back like i said 
earlier all you need to do is to fold this into two and then mark out the zipper allowance and you just cut it's as easy as simple as that if you want the hem part to be very that is the um the flay on the hem part to be more all you need to do is to extend whatever inch that you're using to spread it out you can just extend it so this is what i have now for the um zipper like i said all you need to do is to place this now on your fabric as it is then add your one inch this way and then cut out exactly as it is okay but now for the back neckline you should um it, sh it should be half inch because the neckline we are going to be adding um a band to the neckline or a collar or whatever okay so just follow the same process and you get it i'll just go ahead and place this on my fabric and cut so we can pleat for you to see how it looks right here as you can see i just followed the same shape to cut it out on my fabric so the first thing i did i notched the um center point from this neckline remember we're going to be plating only on this neckline so i just notched the center point now the first thing to do is to note where you want the pleat to end from the shoulder line so i normally use the armhole line remember that this armhole measurement is um, 4.5 which is here so i'm going to just note that place so that by the time i pleat um it should not cross this line all right okay so this is optional if you want you can also um extend it a bit okay but i normally use the armhole line to do that so now this is the line you need to note it so that when you're sewing the pleats you will not go uh, past this line so the first thing to do now we are going to start with the pleat and it's very easy it's still the same way you pleat your normal pleat just that this particular one um, is going to look like an inverted pleat so i'm going to start it's very easy i'll just take this in remember this is the midpoint so i am leaving like half an inch there and then just fold it in very easy and then i'm going to use i'm going to start with half an inch on this neckline point so getting to that line okay i'll just open it up a bit so that by the time i get to this armhole line um it's going to be one inch okay i'll now use that half inch all the way down to this line that we marked so i'll just you know open up my hand a bit so that it's going to be one inch by the time i get to this point okay so you're going to follow it that way and um, do the second pleat so let me just uh, pin this particular one and then fold the second one i'll show you before sewing it okay and whatever i did here i'm going to repeat the same on this other side okay so this is where the plate will end if you turn it you have something that looks like this like i said it's going to look like an inverted plate inside so this is the first plate so the second one is very easy just fold it again okay and follow the same method so for this i'll just give it only two plates on each side because this one is for a little child so if it's for um, older kids that the neckline is wide you can go ahead and make it up to three or four plates okay on the neckline area so for this i'll just make it only two plates okay so this is the two plates here then i'm going to repeat whatever i did here now following the same way i'll fold it again on this other side and then stitch it so let me just quickly stitch this so we can finish up so here you can see that i just finished sewing the plates on this um, neckline so you can see that i have a little opening here all i'm going to do now is to just um stitch or sew that part also a little and let it end on this part i don't want this place to be this blank okay so i'm going to stitch it close it a bit after doing that now you can now take your original pattern and then cut out the shape of your neck of the neck accurately because um you can see that the neck is no longer the way it's supposed to be this is how it should be 
when you finish sewing the plate that is when you will now do all the necessary correction check make sure that the shoulder um, measurement is accurate the neckline is okay and you have the length of your dress complete now if you want to make this dress um, there are so many fabric to, uh, to use for this dress you can use scuba you can use a uh, po uh, polo fabric now for this one that i'm working with there's something i need to show you this one is the thickest type now if you look at this edge you can see that there's um, a kind of foam like inside so this is the thickest one now this other one is also thick but not thick. you look also on this edge you can see there's the, that the foam inside is very tiny while this one is the one that does not have it's just simple and light so if you want to make this dress and you want the flay or this hem part that is the flay to really uh, to really come out more than what i have here so i will advise you use this type of polo fabric okay this one is very light okay so if you use this type um it's good your flay is going to come out nice this is very light but still thick remember that okay so that is that here i have the back i just cut that out remember i said for the back all you need to do is to add your one inch include your one inch um, zipper allowance and then use half an inch or quarter an inch as the neck depth and cut it out so i'm going to repeat whatever i did here now to the back then i'll close the shoulder like i said I'll close the shoulder and then I will show us how to attach the band on the neck on the neckline it is very easy after that I think the uh, puff sleeve I have a video on that I'm going to drop the link so you can just check that out so let me quickly sew in the that the pleats on the back join the shoulders so we can finish up all right now we are going to be attaching the collar like I said earlier after joining the um, shoulders together so I'm going to check what I have now just place my tape round to know what I have on this neckline so from that back to this center front is five and half meaning um, it's going to be 11 inches that is the round the neckline so it's 11 inches I'm going to fold um, my fabric now to get 11 inches Okay, so this is it I'll just fold it into two now you decide how um, how wide or small you want the color to be okay so you just use that and fold it in okay I think I'll go with this if you want it too wide you do that if you want it small it's up to you so here I have I think one and half okay I want it exactly one and half so i'll just pin the one and half now and then or rather i'll just open it up and mark the 11 inches cut it um 11 inches by three inches i hope you understand when i say three inches it means that um the one and half now by two because this is going to be on fold so i'll just mark three inches here and then cut just as easy and simple as that if you want you can also use the bias form to cut out the color all right so I'll just cut now now I have the color ready okay so the first thing to do I'm going to take the neckline So this is the dress now i'm going to take it now as you can see and stitch it around the neckline after sewing it you're going to have it this way so i'll just um sew it round and then i'm going to show you how you close it up nicely so that your stitching will not be visible on this front side here as you can see i just finished um sewing the neckline this is the front this other side is the back now to close it up you know this um, kind of fabric you don't need any lining all you need to do after sewing you use your um, serger or overlock, uh, overlocking machine then 
do all the necessary trimming okay so you don't need any lining so now i'll just fold it in this way this is the back side you just take it in this way after using your weaving to weave that take it in and then turn over to the right side okay and then try do as if you're trying to open up the seam here and then sew it exactly inside this seam so this part you really need to take your time it's not something that you rush with just stitch it inside by the time you finish you will see that your thread um, your stitching will not be visible to this front um side all right so that is it for today i believe we were able to grab one or two things from today's tutorial for the puff sleeve i have edited video on that i'm going to drop the link in the description box so you can just check that out so that is it for today please subscribe if you have not and i will see you all in my next video